Potter's Journal, July 2020, collecting pottery, shipping, and packing. In the last video, you saw me unbox this piece from Athena Farago. Okay, he just made it over here it's from La Belle France. And uh, following proper etiquette, I went to buy a piece and was surprised with a let's trade instead. When I unwrapped the piece last week, what did we find or what didn't I find until after our camera was in the box? An extra bit in the box. This little mouse. So if he gets loose, we may have to set a trap. And following proper trade etiquette, I didn't say trade. I said I'd like to buy and she said let's trade. So now we've got to see if I can get a piece in a box and ship it. Have you ever done that? I haven't. This will be a first time. I have been saving all kinds of packing material. Never thought that I would use this styrofoam to line the box and give it extra strength. I tried cutting with an old mat cutter and here we go. I'm going to use a Dremel. Okay. This actually took forever to engineer and put together. I'm going to show you the easy part on how it got put together. I am going to do the box in a box thing after. Okay. Um, coming up with the boxes after saving boxes for um, a number of years. I didn't even use any of the boxes I saved. I had to find different ones to actually fit this piece. And then I cut this to fit the box. And then the side pieces. So that it will fit in here without moving around. And then so it doesn't move around when I put it together. I tested it. It shook just a little bit. So okay. There was a little room in there yet. So I am going to add a little bit of paper to this as well. We needed that so it doesn't move back and forth. But we really can't give it any extra height. And this time it doesn't shake, okay, like it did on the test round. So, the box in the box. There is number one with the styrofoam. Okay, what did this have in it? Uh, deep dish pizza. I could have done, okay, with the styrofoam insulation, I get plants in the winter shipped with this stuff in here. I could have actually maybe made a zucchini quiche and put in there. And wouldn't that have been a surprise? Put it in frozen, maybe it would have arrived frozen. So I'm doing the same thing again. Um, these were all cut to fit the box. And actually the bottom piece is very tight for a snug fit. So I will put that in last. want to also put in a surprise piece. So we will take this, put that in a little bit of paper as well, and fit that into okay, the hidden compartment in the bottom there. 
And, and this is what I don't like. That if you, I, I hope to get an Etsy site in the fall. The little bits of styrofoam, not a nice thing in there. When somebody un opens up um, a package, it'll both be in the box. It'll get on their floor. This all fits very tight and very snug. I think that's a good thing. Um, if you've ever got, okay, I've, I'll exaggerate a bit here. I've had pillows shipped to me. Never, ever a dent in the box. I've had two pieces of pottery shipped to me where the box seemed to come crushed to death. So this um, is very firm, very stable. When I got a piece shipped from Goldmark Gallery, they actually made it out of a box, out of laminated cardboard, so it was as sturdy as, okay, I'll exaggerate again, steel. Um, so this is very, yeah, it can take being crushed. I think I joked the last time that I think they must uh, load them in a dump truck and dump it in the hull of the ship and then get in there and stomp on them. This will take some good stomping, I hope. Okay, and I am also going to take this and tape all of the edges so if it does get crushed, um, they don't come apart. I would have liked this to be a heavier grade box, but um, I think because of the way we did the inside and reinforced it with this stuff, it's going to be good. So I will say stop back <laughs> and watch the comments. See if Mathema says it arrived in one piece or if the box came crushed. And I hope to, okay, I was away from the wheel for a couple months here. Um, I hope to get back in the studio again next week. Stop back and see what happens in the wheel world, as I heard somebody say, on the potter's wheel again.